fellow Zoomers energy drinks, am I right? So in like 2019, I had this severe coffee addiction. And I say coffee addiction and not caffeine addiction because I feel like it was in, in the moment and uh, in retrospect, it wasn't necessarily a, an addiction to the caffeine. Uh, it was more so an addiction to the like the coffee and the, I guess, the more tangible effects that it has, including but not limited to, it definitely speeds up the process of needing to take a shit. And I'm I'm gonna kind of get into that a little bit not the shit part but the coffee itself so in like 2019 now I was the second year of university but in that year or at least in my university we had like money which were like credits I suppose uh, on your ID which can be spent at various food locations around campus and whatnot it was included with your meal plan depending on which meal plan you picked you would get more credits my first year they had a Burger King which was pretty epic uh, but then after the first year they got rid of it and they only had shitty places so I didn't really know where to eat because otherwise it was like paying to get a sandwich and in my mind I was still paying for it and it didn't really seem worthwhile because one I would mostly just eat two meals a day I've been a two meal a day type of person for like the past six years maybe or even more so it was it, was, it wasn't really like a problem that I only had two meals on the meal plan if anything it was more than enough because sometimes I wasn't even hungry enough for two meals on the weekend because we would get 14 meals a week I was just like well I might as well spend it on other things so I would uh, hit the vending machines and get some coffee and shit unfortunately end of my first year I was out like two or three hundred dollars or even more because the amount of money that they they allowed us which was something ridiculous like a thousand dollars or even more maybe it was less I'm not sure I might be misremembering but the point is is that I was out like two or three hundred dollars because I didn't use that money it was just left on the table I had paid for it with part of my meal plan and we were expected to use that money around campus it was exclusively for food you couldn't use it for like laundry and shit which was retarded i ended up second year going in hard with it and i was just drinking aquafina water bottles like constantly and this is when i get into the whole story but i'll just mention it since it's a whole topic for a different day which was when i had like 50 aquafina water bottles under my bed um i also was drinking a lot of mountain dew because i had dew in the vending machine so i was going crazy with that uh just getting pop tarts and chips and shit i was just like living out of the vending machines and then i was getting coffee like every day because they had amongst all the restaurants there was one exclusive coffee joint which was actually pretty decent and I became a regular there as a result of having the the funds and I just wanted to burn through it so I didn't end up sitting on it because that's just how it was like in the other food locations weren't really that appealing so I was like might as well just spend it on this coffee because I don't mind coffee I actually like it so I was just drinking coffee constantly sometimes I'd go two times a day usually it was at least once a day uh, I would swing by and get myself something just to have it but at the time I didn't realize it until it was too late that there are some negative effects of drinking so much coffee and the ones that I experienced were having headaches withdrawal symptoms when you were off the caffeine slash coffee and then my metabolism was fucked after uh, trying to get off it because like I alluded to before coffee has certain effects that make you use the bathroom it makes you shit uh, so if kind of need to shit it's like a natural laxative I suppose at least for my body that's how it acted and I, I think for a lot of other people it does the same coffee was allowing me to do do this and I was drinking it for a prolonged period of time which I suppose like got my body used to that uh, natural laxative so it wasn't like trying to act naturally so then when I was getting off coffee I was constipated for like a week and that was, I guess, like the least of my concern. The biggest one was uh, getting off it with the headaches and stuff, which I ended up remedying with tea. And that's why I'm a, a tea addict still to this day. That tea does have a, a little bit of caffeine in it, but enough to be negligible, at least for my experience. Like I could drink tea and then a half hour later I fall asleep. So I started to drink more tea, almost exclusively green tea. But uh, I do like uh, black tea, specifically Earl Grey. I'm not including Japanese tea, which I do get, but more infrequently. And eventually I did end up getting over the coffee addiction quote unquote and I never really relapsed back into it and I've been somewhat cautious of my coffee intake ever since uh, because another effect of that was like I felt getting deeper into the coffee addiction of at least once or multiple times per day is that coffee is somewhat acidic so it ended up almost feeling like it was burning a hole through my stomach at some points 
I don't think it was really, but it was starting to get noticeable that the acidic properties of coffee were starting to have an ill effect on my body. And it was not really feeling too good to drink anymore. So I'm like, fuck this, man. Uh, I'll just get more Aquafina water bottles or something. So returning to the coffee, the thing about coffee is that even back then when I was first getting into it, it wasn't really like a need per se. It was more so like a secondary thing where a lot of people, uh, you know, like you got the Riaju who all line up at the Starbucks or the Dunkin' Donuts in the morning with their cars and shit and they get their iced coffee or sugar drinks or whatever and they're like I can't start my morning without my coffee uh and I was never really one of those people like I'm not a morning person at all you know actually I'm not really a morning person but I would say almost more often than not I am like fight or flight mode in the morning which makes me more of a morning person than the average person I'm like completely on edge because I just woke up and I'm sometimes wake up really fast and I'm panicking and shit by nature of having the Edo Manga Sensei opening as my alarm clock surely will instill fear in the mortal man. I was never really that type of person who was necessarily reliant on the coffee. It became more of a, a need because I would start to get headaches throughout the day if I didn't have my coffee before a certain time, which I suppose is indicative of a caffeine addiction, but the caffeine effects themselves were fairly negligible in my case. Like, I didn't feel that little buzz or excitement that most people would feel. Like, I felt like I could drink a cup of coffee and go to sleep like a half hour, an hour later. Though, two years prior to this, I was a caffeine boy as well. Uh, this was like in 2016 or 17 when I was working in the summer. I would be buying these Starbucks double shot energy drinks. I believe that's what they were. But there were these uh, energy drinks that they used to sell at the grocery store that I was working at during that summer. And I would buy those occasionally on breaks because I would work late night shifts and I would be like, fuck it, I'm gonna just stay up all night. I would start work late and then end at closing. And then I figured I might as well stay up all night because I have to do the same shift again tomorrow. Tomorrow. And I, I became interested in energy drinks at that point. Uh, there was one night, though, in particular, I, I got two monsters in my system within a very short amount of time. Over the course of the summer when I was working, I shifted between like uh, the Starbucks branded and then the monsters because you would see a couple of people buy monsters, and I was like, might as well buy those because I always thought the cans looked pretty neat. And I guess this was before like memes, or at least I was aware of the memes of surrounding the drink itself. But I mean, it's always been meme to begin with. I started to drink those, and I was exclusively drinking the regular Zero Ultra, the, the white can one. And for some reason on one break, I decided to have two within like 15 minutes or something stupid. It, I was fine. I was fucking fine until like I got home and then I started to feel it a couple hours later when it was almost time to go to sleep, maybe like four or five o'clock in the morning. I was having these weird heart palpitations because like they were finally kicking in. And when I was actually trying to lay down to get to sleep, I, I couldn't because my, my heart was just going two times the speed than it probably should have. At that moment, like it scared the shit out of me because I'm like dude this is what they warn about right that you're not supposed to drink too much of this shit uh, and there I was and I did I don't think I necessarily like overdosed in terms of like the amount of caffeine you're supposed to intake per day but I was definitely over what I probably should have especially within a short period of time uh, it was just retarded but then after that moment I started to be scared of energy drinks which is why later on it wasn't until recently that I started to get back into them and by recently I mean like a month ago I forgot what was the occasion but I just decided that it was a good day to start drinking energy drinks again. I, I kind of was tired and I was like, fuck it. I'm gonna just go to the store and get this because I don't want to drink water or whatever all day. So I went to go buy the the, the Zero Ultras, the Zero Calorie, Zero Carb ones, uh, the Epic Zoomer drink. And I got the purple one. And I guess the reason why I got the purple one is deep lore. But I got some of that purple drink. I was just like chilling in my car, just drinking it on lunch break. And within like a half hour or an hour or so, I started to feel the effects of the caffeine kick in. And I'm like, dude, this is the first time I've legitimately felt the caffeine kick into me, at least the most memorable. Because before, when I was drinking the Starbucks double shot energy things or whatever, triple shot, whatever the hell they were called, I would feel a little bit more energized, I guess. But they were loaded with sugar. And I, I definitely feel like they weren't zero calorie. So th it kind of felt like drinking in a sugar drink or just like a regular ass iced coffee and then I don't really remember the monsters I mean it was a couple years at this point but the the most the first time recently that I started to drink them uh, was because I kind of wanted that effect and lo and behold I do feel that in those years since I stopped drinking coffee so frequently I would drink coffee occasionally like a couple maybe like once or twice a week but I didn't really feel anything from them it wasn't until I started to drink the monsters again so now I've been getting the energy drinks maybe like two or three 
times a week, sometimes even more. I want to hold back just a little bit because I feel that overdoing it could uh, introduce a dependency onto it. But at this point, the entire reason I'm making this vlog is because I don't give a shit anymore. I don't mind being, you know, dependent on it anymore. But the only problem is that the, it could get expensive, like most things could. But it's just an interesting thing because like today I was drinking some and it was definitely with that buzz that I still got because of the caffeine, the energization, the turbo charge uh, within me uh, was ignited and I felt like I can do just about anything. But here's the thing though, that in the past couple of days I've been feeling kind of shitty for a new number of reasons, both I guess kind of bodily, but also like mentally. And I can start to see why it can be a dangerous thing to introduce into your daily routine. Because if you do introduce something like this, which has an elevating effect to a certain extent, it can definitely start to at least ease you into the idea of being dependent on such a, a substance, I suppose, because caffeine is at the end of the day, the drug. So it has a mildly elevating effect that this morning and this past weekend, I was feeling crap. After drinking it, I started to, to feel better. I drove home listening to some more upbeat music and I felt better than I was earlier listening to atmospheric DMB and kind of feeling down on myself. So I guess at this point, it's a matter of trying to see how far I control myself or seeing how far I can go before destroying myself.